Okay, no job number yet. This is Sandpiper Condos out in Seattle. And uh, we've been out on this property before. We've seal coated. We've put speed bumps in. And I believe this was done back in 2018 or 17. Uh, they'd like to get the speed bumps removed and replaced. They're too tall. Um, we've come out. We tried to scrape them. Okay, so I'm at the main office here, which the main office is on this map. If you see the pool, you see the red pin mark and the red car. I'm right out in front of this uh, parking lot where that speed bump is in the uh, aerial, right under the tree. They've got that, the parking lot that goes here. And then they've got, if we follow that white line, it goes all the way through the back of the lot, goes all the way up behind, up in the hills. And then it comes back down into another parking area, and then down even farther into another parking area. All right, so we're gonna take the existing speed bumps that we put in before, and we're gonna put in a price to remove them, replace them, and repaint them yellow. Um, she asked us to come out here about a year ago, and uh, our guys tried to grind off some of the asphalt from the top, and it didn't turn out very nice. Looks pretty bad. Uh, and they're still scraping. So she wants a price to remove, replace. So my suggestion is we remove these, which is, uh, looks like they're about three inches tall. And instead, let's put in two foot wide and then only do a couple inches tall and make these more gradual. Okay, and I'm going to show you more of the speed bumps here in a second. But I'm going to go through the curbing that we need to repair as well. So at this entrance here, as you can see, you got Magnuson Point across the street, and you got another apartment complex. So you got some room out here on the main road if we need to park on, on the side uh, like these cars are doing. Uh, but we need to remove and replace this curb. We put it in once before, but it's been busted because of that tree root. So when we come out to do these new speed bumps and put in that price, let's uh, rip out this little section of um, tree root damage so we'll remove that curb and we'll cut out that tree root throw in a little patch of asphalt here while we're putting in these speed bumps that way it's nice and flat we can fix this little bit of uh, uh, bump in the asphalt um, so we'll you know take out about three feet by one foot or four foot by one foot of asphalt remove the tree root and then get this thing prepped so we can put new curb in this curbing right here is about eight feet from here to there. Eight feet of curb. Uh, this is our, yeah, this looks like our square eight inch mold. Um, we'll need to paint it red. So when we come out to do the asphalt and fix the asphalt, we'll have to have a curb crew come out, fix this curbing, and then have the painting done at some point. Uh, it might be might be smart to do the curbing first. We'll rip out that little area right there. Probably could just throw down some curb mix, put the new curb in, and then when we come to do the speed bumps, do the uh, asphalt repair in that area when we go to do the speed bumps. And then when we go to paint the speed bumps, we can paint that red too. Okay? I'm going to walk you up here to the upper level of the property so that you can see some of these other speed bumps and how abrupt they are so here i'm up near the top and uh you can see that uh we did a nice two foot wide speed bump but they're just too tall we need to lower them down we need to get them very low profile type so it might be that we have to cut into the asphalt if we can't get a two inch lift on that which this looks like it's about three almost four they're pretty tall um, if we can get them down to two inches without having to cut the asphalt then that's what we want to do otherwise we might have to like saw cut or do like a grind and then uh, bury it in there so that's one I'm gonna walk you down here and show you some of these other ones here okay these speed bumps right here they're really tall they definitely need to come out and be lowered. They're scraping like crazy. All right. 
Um, one other thing behind stall 53, there was some curb that we did a while back, but we never painted it. These look like they were just freshly painted here recently. But uh, yeah, you can see there's about six feet of curb that we didn't paint. Hi. So the white painted curb, it was something that we were supposed to do and we never did. So when we come out to paint the speed bumps, we need to paint that little six feet of white curb. Okay, up here, I'm on the north end now. You can see on this north end, there's a speed bump. Um, she said that this one's too tall as well. It doesn't look like it's been scraped much. It looks like it's doing pretty good. I don't really see any damage to this one. This might be a speed bump that we can leave since I don't see any, any scrapes on there. Okay, so there's nothing else at the top. And like I said, this speed bump doesn't have, really doesn't have any scrape marks. It's got some burnout marks from tires, but no scrapes from underneath. Okay, uh, the speed bump right here, this one will need to be replaced. I think they've been scraping on this. We took the grinder to it, but they're still getting some scrape marks. So we're gonna have to remove and replace that one. Only make it two inches. So that's definitely on the list. I'm on the other side of the main office. The office is right there. Okay, and then uh, down here, some more curbing. Um, I'm gonna say we take out from here all the way down and just redo this whole section of curbing, okay? This will all fall underneath that one yard minimum, 85 feet of curb. Um, so we can use, you know, what looks like about 20, 30, 40, it's not about 45 to 50 feet of curb right here. Remove and replace, we'll have to paint about 40 feet of it yellow and then 10 feet of it red. But we need to uh, put rebar pins in this, vertical rebar pins, and we need to space them out approximately every two feet. It was done once before. When we came out and put the new curb in, we didn't put in uh, rebar stakes. So this is why they're thinking this has popped off. There was a big truck that came in here not long ago and bumped into it and they didn't want to take responsibility for it, so whatever. But we need to put them in every, uh, every two feet. So uh, we're looking at um, about, what, 20...